And we're back. You're watching Guidance TV coming to you all the way from right here in Newark, Delaware. That's right. Not Newark, New Jersey. Don't get it confused now. We are in Delaware. Are we in Delaware? Yes. yes. Let me hear it real loud. Where are we? Delaware. What'd you say? Delaware. Uh-huh. And are we at a school? Yes. What's the name of the school? Tarbia School. Tarbia School? Tar. Tarbia. Okay, what does your school have to do with tar? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing with tar? Yeah. Wait a minute, we added some people here. Who is this? What's your name? Muad. Muad. I was just talking about somebody with the name of Muad bin Jabal. Is your name Muad bin Jabal? No. What is your name? Muad Majid. Okay. Marshall, how old are you? Seven years old. What grade? Second. Are you getting good grades? Yes. MashaAllah. And we have somebody over here, too. What's your name? Aya. Say it again real slow and loud. Aya. Mm-hmm. And how old are you? Six. You're six years old? Six? MashaAllah. You go to school? Yeah. What school? Tarbia School. The same school? <laughs> now, I'm looking at... These ladies all have this, like, scarf on their head, and you didn't have one. I do have one, but it's not Wait. Huh? I do have one. But you didn't feel like wearing it, right? Yes. Okay. That's okay. Just curious. But, mashallah, I'm very proud of you guys for being here with us tonight to help us to learn more. But we still have a whole lot more kids out here. And it looks like some of the kids are actually bigger than other kids. Some are really big. Really, really, really big kids that we have here today. MashaAllah. And this is not all the kids. We have more kids, don't we? Yes. How many kids all together at Tarbia School? Who knows? How many? How many? About 100. 100? No. How many? 130. 130? That's a lot of kids going to one school. Is it important for us to teach them reading? Yes. yes. Writing? Yes. Arithmetic? Yes. Yes. Math? Yes. You don't call it arithmetic, do you? No, Math? Uh, numbers, you know, like one plus one is seven, yes. and no, three. One plus one is two. Huh? One plus one is two. It is? Yes. Okay, two plus two is six. Four. And, four. Huh? Plus two is four. What school did you go to? Well, I, I didn't go to Tarby School, that's for sure. <laughs> hmm? Two plus two is four. Two plus two. It's four. It's four. It's four. It's four. Four. Yes. You sure? Yes. yes. All right. I think we got that worked out. All right. So it's important to have a school so you can learn stuff, right? Yes. So that you can spell stuff like cat, like D-O-G cat, right? No. That is dog. Huh? D-O-G is dog. Oh. Okay. Uh, cat. H-O-G. Cat. C-A-T. Huh? P-I-G. Cat. That's a pig. Huh? That's a pig. Pig? Who are you calling a pig? <laughs> no, no, you said you said what? You said P I G. That means pig. It does. Oh, I guess you need to learn a lot of stuff when you go to school, don't you? Yes. You gotta know how to do two plus two equals four. 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 And cat is spelled. C A T. I'm learning a lot right here at Tarbia School. So the importance of school is that we learn something. But in Tarbia School, we learn more than just those things, we also learn about Quran, yeah? Mm -hmm. Arabic language, <coughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we learn how to pray? Yes. Yeah. Do we learn how to be a good person? Yes. And how important it is to take care of our parents? Yes. Yeah. And take care of our neighbors? Yes. And feed the poor? Yes. Do we have to feed the poor? Yes. Could we just tell them like, hey, come back later? No. No. Mm. What if somebody is sick and it's not a Muslim, it's just a sick person? Just leave them in the street? No. no. You have to help him? Yes. Yeah, but he's not a Muslim. You still okay. help him. 
Yes. You still have to help them? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Nah, that's right. Islam teaches us that, doesn't it? So how are we going to learn these things without a school? We have to have a school. But there's something even bigger. We want the people all over the United States, all over Canada, all over the world, we want them to know Islam teaches us what? Akhlaq. What is akhlaq? Huh? No. That's, that's another word. It's close. It's got a in it, but huh? Behavior. How you behave. How you treat other people. What is your character? And what, who is the person that we should be like him and be uh, in the way of his character? Who is it? Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sallallahu You're right. Prophet Muhammad is our model. And that's why we look up to him. And we look at all of the good things he did. And if people said he did something bad, do we believe that? No. No. If they said uh, he used to do this bad thing and that bad thing, we'd never accept that, right? No. Because if he did, then we would have to be bad people, and we're not bad people. No. And that's a big mistake, isn't it? Yes. So again, this is important for us to tell everybody. That's why we have to have the television channel like we do. Now, our TV channel is special, not just because we don't have commercials, and not just because it's free. But in every single hour of our broadcast, did you know that we put the Quran and the meaning for at least five, ten minutes, fifteen minutes? Did you know that? One time I did it. Yeah? Uh, in, uh, Ramadan. Yeah, in Ramadan. Oh. So what we're saying is that every hour people can see something out of the Quran. It comes up on the screen. You can hear it. You can see it, and then you hear the meaning of it and see the meaning, too, on the screen. And we do that every hour, 24 hours a day. What do you think about that? Is that cool? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. That's something. But then there's something else. You know, all the TV channels have a place for commercials except us. So we still have a place, but we don't want to put commercials. So you know what we do? We put in there some du'a. What's du'a? Do you know what's du'a? Yeah. Who's what's du'a? What is it? Prayer. No. It's a prayer. It's something you pray. It's something you would say, Ya Rab, la ilaha illa anta subhanaka ni kuntu minni dalameen. This is a, a du'a, right? Yeah. You know what? You're blocking the camera here, so let's put you back down here and get you landing. There you go. All right. Don't take off. <laughs> All right. Do you want to say something? What do you want to say? Do you know that Muhammad teaches us how to pray? Yes, he does teach us how to pray. We stand and we bow and we put our head on the floor, just like it says in the Old Testament about the prophets used to pray like that. Did you know that? Yes. Yeah. And we pray like that because our prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he taught us to do that. And whenever we have a problem. Now, today at lunch, we were talking about something. Did you ever get mad, really mad? Yeah. You want to hit somebody. You got really, really steamed up. You were like hot. I'm so, I want to. Did you ever feel like that? Did you feel like it? Did you? Did you? Yeah? You felt like that? Did you feel like it? You, and you're six years old and you felt it too, right? You're like, ah, right? But Islam teaches what? Don't do that. Don't get angry. Somebody came to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and he said, give me some advice. Oh, I want advice. Well, that's good. We should always ask, especially elder people, ask them for advice. We need advice. Somebody should tell me something, right? So he asked, give me nasiha, advice. And he said, sallallahu alayhi la tagdab. Don't get angry. And then he said more. Give me more advice. He said, La tagdab. Don't get angry. Give me more. He said, La tagdab, la tagdab, la tagdab. He kept telling him, Don't get angry. Don't get angry. But tagdab is from gadab. Gadab is a kind of anger 
that means that you're going to do something about it. It's not just being angry when you go, mm, mm, mm. it's whenever you take your hand and you start doing something, you physically go, mm, uh, breaking things, tearing stuff, uh, hurting people. And that's exactly what we're not ever supposed to do. Muslims are never supposed to do that. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. We'll never do that. So what happens if I have this anger inside of me, what am I supposed to do? How? I'm the guy that's upset. I can't calm myself down. Um, if you're standing up, you should sit down. And if you're sitting down, you should lay down. If you're, if you're standing up, sit down. That's right. Do you know something, too? If I get angry, what should I do? You, you should uh, hug yourself. Hug yourself? <laughs> well, I don't. Probably not. What? Make wudu. If you put cold water on yourself and you make wudu, it will calm you down, right? Is that right? Yeah. What, did you know that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he told us that the devil is the one who tries to make you get angry. Now the devil, he's made out of fire, right? Mm -hmm. So he's hot, right? Mm -hmm. So when the devil comes around you and get you upset, then you get what? Hot. And you say, oh, I'm boiling hot right yes. we get hot we don't say oh, i'm cold <laughs> <laughs> no we say we're hot why the devil so when you put water on yourself ah. so make will do put water on your hands and your face huh your head. in your head yeah. in your ears and on your feet yeah your but you don't have to put any on your stomach right no, <laughs> that's not what do. But on your hair, yeah. You put How, wait, I don't see no beard. Where's your beard? Oh, my beard. Well, yeah. Uh, maybe I got hot hair. <laughs> so what we're saying that Islam teaches us not only don't get angry, but also calm yourself down. With what? Standing up. Sit down. Feel hot? Make wudu. Right? And there's more. Did you know that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he taught us that you say something very special. Now, this thing that you say will really help. And you know what? Well, ah, relax. 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 Girls first. Come here. Come on. Allah is going to tell us. Right? I want you to look at that camera right there. See that camera? All right. What do I say if I get angry? That's a nice thing to say, but that's not the right answer. Go sit down. All right. Come here. Look right over at that camera right there. See the camera? Now, what do I say if I get angry? And what does it mean? MashaAllah. Okay, he's right, but you need to know what it means. Yeah. When I say, A'udhu Billah, I seek refuge with Allah. A'udhu Billah, Mini, from a shaitan, the devil, a regime who is rejected. A'udhu Billahi, Mini, shaitan, a regime. Let's say that all together. A'udhu Billahi min shaitani rajim. Everybody say it. A'udhu Billahi min shaitani rajim. And it means what? I seek refuge with Allah from the cursed devil. Got it? Everybody got that? Okay, well, I'm glad you got that. We've got to take this real quick little break. And we're going to be right back. So don't you go away. This is just going to be a second. And get guided with? Guide us TV. Wait a minute. What? Get guided with? Guide us TV. I can't hear the audience. Get guided with? Guide us TV. You don't have to shout. 